Oak trees thrive in the state of Nebraska, and they're a great addition to any landscape, but they do develop some problems, so let's discuss a few of those. Drought can be a major factor in trees, and oaks in particular have had an issue with drought symptoms over the last few years. It's always a good idea to water and mulch your trees, give them a little extra love throughout the year. Herbicide damage. Herbicides, at the time oak leaves are coming out in the spring, are applied extensively. So look for leaf wilting, um, leaf curling, discoloration in leaves, and also water and mulch your trees to help them through that damage throughout the year. In terms of insects and disease problems, there is what's called the rough oak bullet gall. And you see those specifically on bur oaks. Now, rough oak bullet gall is caused by a minute wasp that doesn't sting you, but it does manipulate the tree tissue to cause these galls to form and turn brown and harden. Some people do remove those galls by pruning, but you necessarily don't want to do that because there are a lot of beneficial insects that help uh, do our job for us and remove those galls. The other is rosette gall. The oak rosette gall has a similar life cycle to the bullet gall and also is caused by a wasp. Same concept applies where you can prune those out, but you also want your beneficials to help you too. There are no chemical controls at this time for those types of galls. A disease that we're watching is what's called bur oak blight. Now that affects bur oak specifically and it's a bur oak that produces the smallest acorns. This is a fungal disease that attacks the leaves and the leaves only, causing the leaves to turn brown in the summertime and defoliate early. After years of infection, it does affect tree health so you can do, when necessary, an injection of fungicide, but uh, call a professional in advance to get more help. The other uh, fungal disease that I want to touch on is oak wilt. Now, oak wilt can infect oaks in the red oak group and the white oak group. The red oak group has the leaves with the pointed ends, while the white oak group has the leaves with the rounded edges. The red oak group can die within a matter of weeks to months if infected with oak wilt. And oak wilt is a vascular disease that plugs the vascular tissue and causes the tree to wilt and die very quickly. It's passed by sap feeding beetles or it can be passed by root grafts. In order to combat oak wilt, you can either inject as a preventative propiconazole, please consult a professional, or you can um, also root trench around an infected tree to help with um, root grafting infection. So just remember that oaks are a great choice in any landscape, but just be sure to watch out for some of these problems. Give your oaks some extra water through drought and consult a professional, call your local extension office or Nebraska Forest Service if you have any questions.